roads will be leading to 30 core PTC grounds for this year's International Youth Day celebrations on Monday, 12th August, 2024. We are committed and well prepared to host uh, the teams that will come from within and far. Final preparations for the event are underway at the venue. As a local government and local leadership, our ground is ready, we are set. The Youth and the Children Affairs Minister, Dr. Balamborogahara, is already in Salt District to oversee the final arrangements. States, doing this and that, I told him, no states, if you don't pray to God, they will come and blow him up. Balamu extended the mobilization campaign for the event to local churches attending the Sunday service at St. Peter's Cathedral. DC, where we shall be celebrating the International Youth Day. So why I'm here, I came to pray, but also I came to thank God that I was appointed a minister. Who am I? But when I was coming in, I saw that church. We are building a church. Yes. Wherever I go and I find a church under construction, I make a contribution. Wow. My contribution may not be much as most politicians, because I'm not corrupt. <laughs> Local leaders are optimistic about the success of the event. We even don't have emergency unit, so much of the things will be handled when the president is around, because health is well. It's a lot that I'm going to exhibit, and it's a chance for us to meet our, uh, our principal. The question of unemployment, but also there's a very big growing question of a gap in unskilled labor. You realize most of the young people, some of them, are not skilled, some of them, but also then, most important the opportunities in scholarship, uh, especially in our region here, we feel it's advantaged, it, despite of course being blessed with so many institutions. President Yueka Gutam Seven is expected to grace the Youth Day celebrations in Soroti District on Monday, 12th August, 2024, as the chief guest. Robert Onyango, UBC News.